Give me a minute and let's talk about this story that's going around about mass surrenders of Ukrainian forces. And it, it probably for about the last week. And that makes sense because this came out September 27th. So for about the last week or so, I've been having uh, trolls in the comments tell me that the war is over, there's mass surrenders of Ukrainian troops, that they don't have a chance, blah, yada, yada, yada. And it was funny because it came out of nowhere. And so I went poking around and I found this article from TASS, that's the Russian news agency, over 10,000 Ukrainian fighters surrender since summer using special radio frequency. And uh, they go on and it looks like this is the source of all these stories that have been picked up by other Russian amplifiers. And like Redacted, Redacted did a piece on this. And they they all are, are making it sound like the, there are these mass surrenders of 10,000 troops at a time. Now, look, best we know, the Ukrainians have about a million men in the field. Is it possible that 10,000 of them have been taken prisoner uh, in the last four months? It's not impossible. That would be about 1% of the armed forces of Ukraine out there in the field. Now, I'm not saying that this is untrue, but what we're getting from it is, or how it's being framed, is that there are these mass surrenders up and down the line. This is nonsense. Nonsense of the first order. If that were true, why does the line keep moving back? Why do the Russians keep falling back? And they are, they continually are falling back, guys. That's just a fact. So that doesn't make any sense. Plus, uh, we got a free press here. And if there were any kind of mass surrenders, if whole divisions were surrendering, we would know about it. I, I feel confident of that because there's lots of Western media embedded with the Ukrainians out there all up and down the line. Now, let's take a look. There's a couple of things here that really bother me. There is this notion that there are these mass surrenders going on, which there aren't. Then we take a look at how the story gets picked up by somebody like Redacted. And I wanna show you still, this is a still photo from some video of some U of what are supposed to be Ukrainians surrendering, right? And this video was used by Redacted to prove that this is what's going on. Well, the only thing is, I recognize this video. This video is from maybe two, three weeks ago, so before the article came out in TASS. And it's of a Russian sabotage group disguised as Ukrainians being taken prisoner. And you will notice if you watch the redacted piece, they are very careful not to show you the captors in that video because the captors are Ukrainians in Ukrainian uniforms. And so they edit them out of the video. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. And this is how these people lie to you. Now, further to that, all of the pieces go on to talk about how good the treatment of, of Russian, P, of Ukrainian POWs are by the Russians. Now, you know, I don't normally show any kind of POWs on here. But I think that it's important to take a look at a couple of these guys who spent multiple months under the care of the Russians. And according to them, they were fed once a day on cabbage soup. So roughly 300 calories a day is what they were getting. And you do not have to take my word for it. 
There are dozens and hundreds of images of these men, these brave men who are fighting the tyranny of an aggressive neighbor who wants to erase their people from existence. And this is how they're treated when they're taken as prisoners of war. One bowl of cabbage soup once a day, 300 calories. My friends, the people that would do this to another human being are the very same people who will not hesitate to lie to you to get you to see things their way.